डॉक्टर्स द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ गुड जॉब एंड एन एक्सिलेंट जॉब इज एटेंशन टू स्मॉल डिटेल्स एंड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस पॉइंट इन योर डेली प्रैक्टिस विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू मोर सक्सेस इन वॉट यू डू यू कैन नॉट स्कीप और फास्ट फॉरवर्ड एन एजुकेशनल वीडियो एंड देन होप टू लर्न एवरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दैट वीडियो यू कैन नॉट इम्प्लाई दैट नॉलेज एंड एक्सपेक्ट एन एक्सिलेंट रिजल्ट वेन इट कम्स टू वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू डेंटिस्ट्री यू शुड ओनली वॉच दैम वेन यू कैन गिव यूर फुल अटेंशन एंड टाइम टू दैट वीडियो यू विल गेन मोर स्किल परफेक्शन एंड नॉलेज इन योर लाइफ एंड दैट टू एफर्टलेस doctors welcome today we are going to discuss full details on using intraoral camera on mobile doctors this is the part 3 of our dental jugad intraoral camera so if you not watch part 1 and part 2 of our intraoral camera i would suggest you should have a look at them first doing so will help you to understand the full topic in detail without missing out any important points here in this part we will cover a to z of intraoral camera on mobile use starting from requirements software details how to connect how to record and also clear out many common mistakes and questions which i am asked repeatedly but first i would like to share a very important point with you all and implementing this point in your daily practice will definitely give you more success in what you do doctors one of the major issue or problem that we teachers or tutor face is ignorance of the viewers or the student by ignorance here what i mean is students or viewers don't understand the difference between an educational video and an entertainment video you cannot skip or fast forward an educational video and then hope to learn every important topic of that video while on the other hand entertainment video can be skipped and watched but we watch this entertainment videos in full details and with full attention while we always fast forward or skip whenever we are watching any educational video and most of the time we are multitasking whenever we are watching any educational video doctors the only difference between a good job and an excellent job is attention to small details so if you miss out on small details of any educational video you cannot imply that knowledge and expect an excellent result so when it comes to educational videos i would suggest you all should watch them completely and with full attention or skip them totally partial knowledge is very dangerous when it comes to videos related to dentistry you should only watch them when you can give your full attention and time to that video and doctors once you form a habit of completing any normal tasks thoroughly and with full attention you will gain more skill perfection and knowledge in your life and that to effortlessly doctors i hope you all get what i am trying to convey here so once again hello doctors i am dr tarun mawadia from aksha dental academy let's begin our first point here is requirements or what to use doctors only two things are required to use intraoral camera on mobile and they are number 1 any mobile with otg compatibility and number 2 intraoral camera with mobile compatibility number 1 any mobile with otg function or compatibility doctors otg is a feature in your mobile that helps us to use or connect any usb gadget to your mobile you need to have this otg compatibility in your mobile to use intraoral camera on your mobile most of the new mobiles have otg compatibility but if your mobile is few years older you can google about your mobile and find out whether it is otg compatible or not number 2 is intraoral camera with mobile compatibility or connectivity doctors we have discussed this in detail in our part 1 video regarding connectivity with wifi and connectivity with wire since wired intraoral camera are cheap and have a very good output result we are going to use them doctors a very important point to remember here is every intraoral camera works with laptop or a computer but only few intraoral camera work with mobile also so if you already have an intraoral camera you can just google its detail or ask your dealer regarding its connectivity with mobile and if you are going to buy a new intraoral camera i would suggest you all to first confirm its feature regarding mobile connectivity or just buy the intraoral camera which i use i have shared the link of that intraoral camera in the description box doctors i have tried and tested many intraoral camera and by doing so i have dedicated lot of my time efforts and money in it and after a proper research 
I have suggested you a particular intraoral camera. Also, I use that same intraoral camera. It is cheap. It is best in function. It has a great output result. It is very easy to use and easy to install. So doctors, please remember, never hesitate on any recommendation or suggestion that you get from me. Coming back to our topic, second point is software details and its installation. So first I will show you how to install the Android application on your mobile for using intraoral camera. Hello doctors. So first we will try to understand how to install the Android software for intraoral camera use in our mobile or any tablet. So first step is you need to go to your play store in your mobile or your tablet. Here you need to search USB camera. Okay, and there will be many options, but you need to opt choose this one USB camera standard. Okay, and you have to just install it. So once it gets installed, we are ready with our software. Now our next point is number three steps on how to connect intraoral camera to the mobile. If your mobile has micro USB point, please connect the micro USB point of our intraoral camera with the micro USB point of your mobile. Doctors, our intraoral camera has this USB pin. Okay, but this USB pin has two functions. It can be connected directly to our USB of slot of our laptop or computer. And once you open this clip up like this, it also has an micro USB port. So this can be used to directly connect it to any mobile which has micro USB slot. Okay, please ensure a proper and a complete fit of this connection. Also, many mobiles will have USB-C type connection. For this, the company has already provided a USB-C type connector. You have to connect this USB-C type connector with the micro USB port of our intraoral camera. And then you have to connect this whole assembly of our intraoral camera with the USB-C port of our mobile. So in this modern times, most of our new mobiles have this micro, uh, this USB-C type connection. Okay, so they provide this connector. So what you can do is you can connect this micro USB pin to this. Okay, now one of the major mistake which everyone is doing is once you need to connect this, you need to press it hard and, and hear that small click sound. You will be able to hear right now once I will push this. Okay. Listen it carefully. Okay, so did you hear that sound? So that is what ensures your complete connection. Most of the people are just pressing it over here and then connect it, connecting it to their mobile. So uh, they are not able to turn on the intraoral camera. Okay, so doctors, now your, US, your intraoral camera is ready to be connected in your USB-C type of your mobile. So you just need to connect this to the USB-C type of your mobile and your camera your intraoral camera is now ready to be used in your uh, in your uh, mobile and most of the common mistakes which everyone is doing is not getting these connections properly so i would suggest you all to give a good attention to all types of connection first so once this is done step 2 is to turn on the otg function Doctors, for most of the mobile, you will have to turn on this OTG function once, but afterwards it remains on for life. While for some mobile, you will have to turn on this OTG function occasionally. So please do the needful. Doctors, now I have connected my intraoral camera to my mobile and now I will open this USB camera software. And you, as you can see, it is showing no UVC or no camera connected. Okay. Now to solve this issue, what we will do? We will go to our settings. In settings, you need to search OTG. You will get this OTG connection. Different systems will have different things. But as you can see, this OTG connection is turned off. Now I will turn on this OTG connection. Okay. And now I will come back. 
I will clear all my functions and now again I will restart my application and now you can see it is asking for permission to allow the, our intraoral camera and as we will grant this permission our intraoral camera is ready to use. Our next step is step 3. Always connect the camera first to the mobile and then turn on the application. This is another type of common mistake which many are making. Many are keeping the application on and then they try to connect the intraoral camera to the mobile and afterwards they receive this type of errors. So doctors, I would suggest you all first to connect the intraoral camera with your mobile and afterwards only turn on the intraoral camera application in your mobile. So these were the few important steps on connecting intraoral camera to your mobile. Now our next main point is number four. How to confirm intraoral camera is connected successfully. To confirm this connection, you will see a live picture on your mobile through your intraoral camera. Once you see this live picture, your intraoral camera is ready to use or record. In some cases, if you cannot see the live feed once you turn on your application, I would suggest you all to check your old connection again as mentioned in our point three. Even after doing so, if you still do not get any live picture from your intraoral camera, I would suggest you all to keep the intraoral camera connected to your mobile and just restart your mobile. By doing so, your issues will be solved. Once you turn on the application, you will see the live feed coming on your application through your intraoral camera. Connecting this intraoral camera and restarting your mobile is mainly required for the first time when you are using your intraoral camera on your mobile. Once you have done this, this is never required again. Now our next point here is settings. Doctors, you can see there are different settings option here in this application. And we will check them out one by one. So our first option is settings. This has some settings but is of no use to us. Our next option is uh, settings. The settings has different settings like camera settings. Okay, these all are normal and I would I would suggest you all not to touch them, keep them as they are. Okay, our second setting in this sound setting which we don't require at all, so we are not going to touch it. Our third settings is recording. This is the place where the, the your recording will get saved. So um, I prefer this only, but if you want to if you want to change it, you can change them as per your wish. And our fourth option will be other settings which are similar to the settings which we got from our first option and we are not going to touch them okay and after that you get an option of file list so basically what is file list file list are the saved files okay or doctors now i prefer the google files for managing my files so whenever i want to show video i would advise you all to use google files so here in in google files it has video options so you can see you can clearly see the videos which uh, which I recorded right now and showed them to you okay so here is the recording of the video which I recorded right now and showed it to you and this is the another video which I recorded uh, while our conversation and you can see the output results after settings our next point is how to use intraoral camera or how to record so important points here are picture mode video mode and changing from SD to HD so doctors as you can see right now our camera is on and we have connected our uh, intraoral camera i am showing you this picture of of one of my uh, models h patient education model okay so our this camera is built for intraoral vision okay so once you uh, take it far away the things will become blur but once it is near the near the teeth the things will be very clear to you all okay as you can see here things will be very clear to you all. And as I, as I informed you earlier also, the final result depends on the quality of your screen. So if your screen is full HD, or in case of mobiles, if, you're, if your mobile has super AMOLED screen, the output result will be very good. Okay, so number one is picture mode. So once you click it, it, once you press it, it will click pictures. But this is a very uncomfortable or very, very uh, difficult when it comes to doing OPD and taking pictures of every single tooth. If your if your hand is little shaky, then the picture output will be blurry. So, number two is video mode. This is the most common mode, and I would suggest you all to use this mode for recording. 
so best option is our third option to record video okay so once i press this my video is on as i've shown you all earlier what i do is i start from the quadrant where the patient has chief complaint okay and then i record each and every side of that tooth in order to explain every issue to the patient and and show the patient the tooth in every condition and then i shift my camera to other teeth okay in case of anterior teeth lower anterior i show the lingual plaque and calculus then i show them uh, other uh, the, or the opposite arch teeth and then i shift my attention to the maxillary teeth and then then quadrant wise i show the patient the condition of the maxillary teeth also okay and once my whole recording is done then i will press the stop over here and our video will get saved okay our third option is this okay so here first option is full screen what you can do is when you press this your screen will become full okay uh, so this while recording once you start your recording okay and then you can press this screen to make it full screen okay so this will be little more comfortable for you in case of mobile the screen is very small so this will be helpful in case of this and once you want to stop it just press over here and your your your, uh, your recording will stop okay uh, our second option in that is mirror so many a times what happens in mandibular and maxillary we need to mirror things okay so i'm moving little far away so you will be able to know uh, the exact function of the mirror okay can, can you see it is mirroring the uh, option uh, this so many a times in, while shifting from mandibular to maxillary it is helpful and third point is sd versus hd in video recording so right now i'm using in hd uh, it will it the file size will be more and it will take more space in your mobile so you can you can do recording in sd also the picture will become small but i would suggest you all if you are using tablet then you can use it but in case of mobile the output result will be very low so it is better to use in, use in hd okay and the last options are of not of use and you can use the exit option whenever you want to exit the uh, application so i hope doctors this helps many of you to clear out many of your common questions doctors but please remember according to me the best way to use intraoral camera is with two screen setup and with a computer i am discussing this because everyone has mobile and with just a simple investment of 2000 rupees you can try out intraoral camera in your own dental clinic also and i guarantee with proper and correct use of intraoral camera it will give you many benefits so doctors this is my small effort to help you all to adapt to a new and a cheap technology which will definitely benefit you in million ways and also help you stand out from your competition so for now i think i have covered every details or a to z of intraoral camera on mobile use still if any one of you is finding any type of issue with intraoral camera on mobile use you can contact us we will definitely find a solution for you also doctors you can contact us for any of your issues related to dentistry we will definitely help you out with your problem as always see you all in yet another interesting dental video until then stay tuned to the channel